Hello, AI enthusiasts. Welcome back to Skill Curve. Buckle up, because in this video, we are diving into the world of stable diffusion cascade and setting it up locally on a Linux virtual machine using the powerful stable diffusion web UI. Join me as we navigate the installation process step by step, ensuring you are up and running in no time. We will cover everything from dependencies to configurations, making it accessible even for beginners. So grab up your favorite text prompt, fire up your Linux machine, and prepare to be amazed. Let's dive in. So first of all, I'll be using this official GitHub repository from Automatic 11.11 to install Stable Diffusion Web UI onto my system. So if you scroll down, you can see here is an installation and running guide. And here's the automatic installation for Linux. First of all, we need to install the dependencies. For that, I can copy this, come right into my terminal, cd into desktop to download and install everything on desktop. Then I will simply paste in that command and hit enter. Add Y to continue. Now it's done, okay? Then we need to get this command. So I can simply copy this from here, come back to my terminal, paste it in right here, and hit enter. Yeah, it's done. It will create a webui.sh file onto my desktop. Here you can see. Now I need to run this .sh file for that I can say like chmod plus x, and then the name of the file to make it executable. Then hit enter. All right, so it's done. Now we simply need to run this batch file by typing in dot forward slash webui.sh. Hit enter once again. Now it's running, you can see right over here. It might take a while to install all the dependencies and download some of the important files for you as well. So you just need to wait for a while. All right, it's done and it will automatically load the UI for you. So all right, your UI has successfully been loaded. You can see here, this is the classical UI of stable diffusion from automatic 1111, okay? Now we need to inject the stable diffusion cascade extension. For that, we need to go to the extensions tab for that, we'll be using this GitHub repository, Stable Cascade in Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now, you simply need to click on this green button and copy the link from here. Come back to the Stable Diffusion Web UI, navigate to Install from URL tab, and simply paste in your link right here. Now, you just need to click on this Install button, and it will start the installation for you. Here, it can also download some of the files and some other stuff which will be going on at the back in your terminal. You can open up your terminal to see like how it's proceeding. Here you can see it's downloading like different files and you will get to know when it's done from the terminal. All right, it was done successfully. Now you need to go to install tab and you need to make sure that Stable Diffusion Cascade at the end is active. If it isn't, you just need to check this blue box and then just click on Apply and Restart. It will restart the UI for you. Once restarted, you will see a Stable Cascade tab dedicated for that. You would feel like everything is set up, but it's not the case because you have to download Stable Cascade model and it hasn't been downloaded yet. So for that, you can give it any prompt like I'm giving a boy with a cowboy hat, okay? Click on generate and at the back end, when you will go onto your terminal, you will see a lot of models being downloaded. It might also take like a lot of time depending on your internet connection as well. But once all the models will be done successfully, your generation will pop up on the UI. So you just need to be patient and wait for some time. The models will only be downloaded the first time you will give it a prompt, but when you will be using it for the second time, the generations would be pretty fast. So it's just for the first time. 
All right, so you can see here that our model is working successfully. It just generated an image like I gave it a prompt, a boy with a call boy hat. So it's working as it should. It generated a really beautiful image. This video was only for installation guide purposes. In the upcoming videos, we will be testing out this model in depth and we'll see its capabilities and shortcomings. And we will try to compare it with some of the biggest competitors in the market like Midjourney and OpenAI's Dolly 3. So stay tuned and that marks the end of this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.